Hey everyone, it's uh, February 9th, almost 7 o'clock. Um, I just got back into town a little while ago. My dad, Greg, Jose, and Andy all went out earlier. We had about a couple inches that came through of some wet, heavy snow. Um, they got that all cleaned up, but we gotta go get where all the cars were today. So just me and my dad are gonna go back out. We'll get everything cleaned up, salted up real good. And uh, then it's supposed to warm up and I think we're gonna go build a wall next week. We're gonna go back to that other job we were at, get that finished up. And then um, we got some other things we gotta do there too, but it's stuff that we can't do until it's actually springtime. So then we'll do all the restoration as well behind the walls and everything. So. But we can get that done and then we'll see what the weather does if it stays warm We got some things to do at my dad's house possibly that we're gonna well that we are gonna do It's just depending on the weather so Maybe I can get some cool video of that my dad we're gonna do his front porch Which is gonna be pretty neat and we gotta get some salt and then we'll go out and get these lots cleaned up I don't think it's gonna be too bad. It's pretty warm and you can see everything just melting off I mean this gas station wasn't even taken care of I don't think or salted or anything and it's all already melted so I haven't seen any of the lots yet so I don't know how bad it really is but we'll find out all right so we're out at this first site here this water company here uh, we're just cleaning up like where cars were parked so you know there's all this like slop out here I don't know if you guys can see that but um, we're just going to get that cleaned up because it's supposed to get cold tonight. We're running the old little 3500. We got this boss salter like two, three years ago now. I don't know. I, I'm not really a huge fan. I know tons of guys run them. Some, I don't know why it is, but we just have like bad problems with it not wanting to auger out very well. And the past few storms I've had a little bit better deal with it because I haven't been filling it all the way. I mean, I see guys that like mound these things and I don't know, I've just been putting about a ton and a half in there and it's been seemingly fine. I feel like I got to run the vibrator a ton. Well, I don't know. Kind of kind of regret getting it. I wish I would have just stuck with our snow axes that we always get. Um, but a lot of guys said that they were awesome and loved them. So I, I don't know, it's weird. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up here. Not too much to do. We just gotta, and then I'll salt it up real nice. So then I'm gonna go to the bigger lot, and we'll see if it's if there's enough over there. I'll get the loader going, and we'll hop in there for a little bit. So, see like right now I got this thing on and it's just, I mean the vibrator don't want to make it go. It's probably hard for you guys to see but there's a lot of salt in there. You know, so now I got to take this thing and I'm going to have to jab it down in there and it's just dumb. It's really dumb. So anyone watching that runs a boss salter, you let me know if uh, you have problems with this because I'm about ready to sell this stupid thing. I just want to add on to that too. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of people that say, oh, it's the salt, it's the salt, it's not dry enough. No, because it runs through our snow axes just fine. And the snow axes, those V-boxes, have even a smaller spot for the salt to, to fall through onto the auger, for it to auger through. So it's, I know it's not the salt. And it's not chunky at all. It's nothing, none of that. Our salt is plenty dry. You know, so I don't know what the deal is, but not a big fan. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, honestly, with the experience we've had with it. But, so we'll see what we end up doing with it. Alright, so I'm into some, into some light here now. I'm going to show you. Look at I got a, This thing is like pretty much full, I'd say. And it ain't freaking going. You know, this is just stupid. So now I gotta take this bar, try and grab this down here. So 
like I don't know if you guys can no you probably can't see it but is what happens is there's like a big a big void that gets created in there and I think the vibrator honestly almost makes it worse and like see if I when I stab into here it's like big holes see now it's starting to fall you know the vibrator should make that fall I shouldn't have to get up here and do you know, look, I mean it just all falls right away seems to get better as as you get as the salt empties to like right about like halfway or so I'd say the auger it seems to like to flow better but I don't know I'm not a fan that's why this truck doesn't get used as much because no one the salter is just a pain you gotta just mess with that it's just stupid so I'd really like to hear of anyone that runs these boss salters if you have ever any issues like that, I mean, it's still... There it goes. Maybe now it's going. No. No. See that? But, like, I had some video earlier of it, and it was working good. You know, but now here, here I am. I don't know what to do. Now it's starting to pull out decent. Uh, but it's just very frustrating when you spend what you spend on these things and like I don't know so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be really curious to see what everyone anyone has to say about, about this salter and their honest opinion but I don't know maybe we got a lemon I don't know, but I mean, when it does work, it works good. I like it, but I don't know. You shouldn't have to get up into the bed of the truck like that for any reason besides to see how much salt is in there. I'll show you guys probably a little bit better at the next lot. There's a lot better lighting over there. So I can show you more of what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm into some, into some light here now. I'm gonna show you, look at it. I got a, this thing is like pretty much full, I'd say. And it ain't freaking going. You know, this is just stupid. So now I gotta take this bar, try and grab this down in here. So like I don't know if you guys can no, you probably can't see it, but is what happens is there's like a big a big void that gets created in there, and I think the vibrator honestly almost makes it worse. And like see if I when I stab into here it's like big holes. See now it's starting to fall. You know, the vibrator should make that fall. I shouldn't have to get up here and do... You know, look, I mean, it just all falls right away. And it seems to get better as... As you get, as the salt empties to like right about like halfway or so, I'd say the auger it seems to like to flow better but I don't know I'm not a fan that's why this truck doesn't get used as much because no one the salter is just a pain you gotta just mess with that it's just stupid so I'd really like to hear of anyone that runs these boss salters if you have ever any issues like that I mean it's still there it goes maybe now it's going Like I had some video earlier of it and it was working good. You know, but now here, here I am. I don't know what to do. Now it's starting to pull out decent. See that. But it's just very frustrating 
when you spend what you spend on these things. And like, So I'm gonna I'm gonna be really curious to see what everyone anyone has to say about about this altar and their honest opinion. But I don't know. Maybe we got a lemon. I, I don't know. But I mean, when it does work, it works good. I like it. But I don't know. Shouldn't have to get up into the bed of the truck like that for any reason besides to see how much salt is in there. So, I'll show you guys probably a little bit better at the next lot. There's a lot better lighting over there. So I can show you more of what I'm talking about. Alright, so there is actually quite a bit of cleanup out here more than what I was thinking there would be so we're gonna get this thing unplugged get it going I uh, recently put a new battery in this thing so I did not talk to Andy yet today to see how well it uh, started up but I'm sure it was fine it's pretty warm out so because it wasn't my dad didn't plug anything in he didn't think it, he didn't think it, he thought it was gonna be all rain so put you guys in here for a little bit and then let's see if I can reach your stage. I didn't bring my head mount today. Tonight I should say. I, just, I don't know why. Let's see if that'll stay. Um, so I'll leave this on for a little bit and then uh, I'm gonna probably throw it on top to get some time lapse. back into town I don't know uh, I think it was like 3 30 or something like that and um, by then all my dad and Andy and Jose all the good Greg they were all done so we're just out here we're gonna get all this got, kind of see we got just where all the cars were Ever had. I mean, 
they just clean everything up so nice. Less salt usage, which everybody likes that. Good for everyone all around. Good for, good for the environment if you're into that. I'm surprised though how much 
trying to get everything as best I can. I know this car right here, that's the cleaning lady in there. The car, she's, I know her car because she's done it forever and I've been doing this forever. She goes to each building all over the place.
That's it. Not quite just come back in because we got 40s coming. I'm gonna salt this section up because my dad's on the other side. Let's see if this stupid thing is gonna go. That'll do it for this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.